I am Dr. Bilal Masood. Previously, I have uploaded videos on modern physics topic of uh, quantum mechanics. And that's a full course. And uh, with, along with teaching that course, I have also taught in the same center, Center for High Energy Physics, uh, for 16 years, a co course on philosophy of science. And uh, this lecture is, uh, on the one hand, is the first lecture for converting this whole course on a YouTube video format. And uh, another uh, significance of this lecture is that uh, its it plan is to, uh, to advertise that on Facebook as well. And uh, on Facebook, uh, uh, you might have seen that uh, on, on the time my timeline. Its uh, next uh, post is this. And uh, in the next post, uh, that was in November. 2023, and uh, I have had a, a dialogue with the uh, social sciences uh, doctor, Professor Dr. Basit Biral Koshal of, uh, of LUMS, Lahore University of Management Sciences of, of Lahore. And th the title of that dialogue was Does Science Need uh, Philosophy? And uh, and people were waiting for that, that that I should tell what I said there. So this lecture is to tell that job as well, that what I said there, essential part of that, which I consider uh, the, the things of uh, my views, which, uh, which have a significance beyond just answering Dr. Biral, Biral Koshal, which I think uh, the topics which are, I think, of my view in general, not only for response, these have selected and included in this lecture as well. And the topic uh, is slightly modified to, to become fitting as the first lecture of this uh, full course on um, philosophy of science to follow. And the topic is, is as you can see, is, is now modified to become, uh, is philosophy needed needed in an age of science and the answer is essentially is uh, in affirmative but in, in, in limited in, in a limit, limited sense yes philosophy not in every role but uh, there it can be a role of a certain role of philosophy in even along with the science and that uh, that is not uh, the role is not to tell you about the reality and that's not to tell you about what the universe and uh, all this and that and uh, the philosophy job in the age of science is not to be to tell you what is the rules under which the universe is is uh, is changing or relationship of observation these things are what i said so far these are better left to to science and science explains observation. But now you learn the terminology. That's the first order. And we also need to explain science itself. And that is not possible in science. I, I have to give, this is just outline, I have to give argument for that. And uh, I, have to, I start with saying that uh, what science explains, namely observation, observation itself is not identically is not by definition part of science but, but but by definition observation single observation is part of history and uh, so and when i have to explain science and that explanation of science itself not the content of science but explanation of science is not in science because it's related to something outside science, namely history, and also to logic. These are the views, and I have to give argument for that. So, you know, you might have noted it, the your explanation of explanation, that is the second order explanation, that is the role of philosophy, which it can still play in an age of science. And now I give the detailed argument. And before that, before giving argument, uh, I, I'm presenting uh, as well, and in this presentation, uh, is the color scheme. In the previous course which I mentioned on quantum mechanics, that was a course on science. I was telling you, uh, telling my audience, uh, results of science. Namely, that uh, science explains observation. So, 
what I was explaining was uh, observation and explaining the result of explanation was science. So my scheme here remains that what I have to explain that is in red and what explanation is in blue. But that, but now the, the difference is that this that was a course on science and that is uh, that was and the present course is not in science, but that is about science. You know, we are explaining science. So what we are explaining, so the, to maintaining the scheme that what we what we are explaining is, is in red. So in the previous course we were, ex we were explaining observation, so that was red. And in this course we have to explain science. So that is that has been chosen as as in red. And previously we were explaining uh, the result of explanation was science and here the result of explaining science itself is philosophy though so the, the, so philosophy is, is philosophy explains science so what explains is is in blue and what it explains is in red and according, according to this course different things are there but the idea remains there and then uh, the thing is that uh, i have to mention the observation otherwise i can't talk about it uh, but science uh, anyway to talk about observation and then I have to, to choose a different color a different order for observation that's you know I, I maintain that observation is lower order to to to, to science. science is first order then lower would be zeroth order and for that zeroth order this time I've chosen a green color and uh, I'm making a distinction between zeroth order and first order and uh, second order I talk about later but uh, I have to tell you that uh, this dis distinction is actual. It's not uh, that uh, they are two same things and uh, I have to set it for zeroth order as well as first order. Not that. What I said zeroth order, namely observation, that is not same as what I said first order, namely science. If you think they are identically same, then you, you are in logical troubles. Because uh, logic says that if you say that observation is the same thing as science, they are two two named of the same thing and they are identically the same or whatever you call it if, if I use the mathematical symbol I hope uh, next to uh, and I repeat I, I write it in full in English but uh, that I speak out if your first premise is that uh, first assumption is that science is same as observation and then you have a second premise second assumption is that science explains observation and uh, using the first you replace uh, the word observation appearing uh, in, in number two by by the word science then your number two gets converted because of one science explains science and that's that is the wrong use of word explains nothing, nothing explains itself explanation means explanation and so that's that's result is wrong Okay, now I have taken another uh, trouble and this time uh, rather than a mathematical symbol, uh, those of you who are not comfortable, I have written the same thing, one you can see, but in, in fully in English and as written it becomes the first premise, first assumption, first input becomes observation is science and your second input is slightly different not science uh, explains but it's science agrees with observation now you do the same if using first that means they are same so you replace observation with science your sentence becomes science agrees with science and that's that, that, that's no information that that cannot be the reason that science is successful that is it agrees with itself science is successful because of something else because of some information but that's not information so that, that is wrong and the wrong is because one is wrong. Another, I have two more uh, discussions uh, use of logic uh, I replace one with, the, the, with something else which is that observation is part of science. This is set theory symbol which means subset. Observation is part of science that your first uh, premise and your second uh, premise or second input is that science explain observation and because this time I am taking it take it to be distinct so I have restored color so but do the same thing observation is part of science so rather than observation you write 
part of science in part it's it's part your sentence becomes science explains this part something explains this part is rather a peculiar use of uh, this word explain i'm not sure and i think this is also wrong but at, le at least uh, the fourth example is, is clearly very wrong result and that is that if you say observation is part of science that thing and science agree with the agree with observation uh, and you replace observation with part of science your sentence becomes science agrees with its parts science also agrees with parts so every set agrees with its subset that is not any characteristic of any particular set and that is that certainly cannot be characteristic of such a successful discipline namely science that the only thing science has it that it agrees with its parts i mean that's not it science has many other good features not only that it agrees with parts so we have more information so there are so all in all it says that uh, observation is not science or observation is not part of science and then the same for the same conclusion i have another argument or the result is not uh, new but the argument uh, is, is is in a sense new and that is that uh, you know that science science is good because uh, scientific predictions uh, many predictions agree are verified and that's a news scientists tell to the world and that is uh, they are that that's a good thing about science is that uh, its predictions are are verified and that's a news and that's a news uh, justifying the science as the news is, doesn't remain news then science justification is lost and uh, and if you maintain that you have to discard that uh, the science is observation you have to accept the science is not by definition observation and the argument starts now scientific prediction is a result of science you you you, you may postulate or whatever assumption of science you do calculation and and you get a result and that is that represents science now if you say that a science or prediction of science is identically same as observation and then you also there the prediction of science agree with the observation agrees with the observation and because of one you replace observation uh, your prediction okay now here prediction of science with observation your, your this thing is observation your your sentence becomes observation observation agrees with observation and that's not a news that that means that this is prediction agree with science is not a news but that is but actually that's a news in favor of science and that's the justification of science that means your your result is wrong and a logic law says that result is wrong your input is wrong and now input this either one is wrong or two is wrong and now you think two is not wrong for a correct science for a correct science prediction agrees with observation so the, so the two is if two is not wrong then wrong is one namely science is observation or, ob or observation is science so that means science is not observation correct science is not observation and observation is not science so now you know over we have a terminology is clarified observation is observation science is science if that is the case then the question arises what is the relation between observation and science if they are same then there is the question doesn't arise but now i have given my argument the question is there if the question is there i have to answer if the question were not there if observation and science are identical what is the, what i am answering but i have given argument the question survives and now the question is what is the answer okay here i have written a short alternative that if on this slide if you had any trouble of understanding 1 2 3 and all this became confusing to you then i have a quick alternative of of this slide is that uh, you, you have a sentence that science predicts if you believe that science uh, and observation are two names of the same thing then uh, rather than the word science you can have the word uh, observation your sentence become observation predicts and obviously obviously that is wrong Ob the, the, so that is nothing that's that's not that's not a, any characteristic of any good thing about science so observation predicts if you reject that that means you reject that uh, that science is observation 
That's just to re I quickly summarize and repeated the argument, otherwise the longer version is in here. Anyway, having said that, the question arises, uh, what is the relation between observation and, and science? And the, the answer has to be something uh, well thought, not that they are identical. So when a question is there, the, the answer, my answer starts here. The science is not observation, but science, uh, quickly speaking, you can say science is a relation of observation. In full, sentence is that science correctly predicts a relation of observation. And if you want to understand through examples, then uh, one example I can give you 19th century onward classical, what is Newtonian classical physics that gives the relation between initial and final positions. And uh, those of you who have learnt quantum mechanics, modern physics, they can understand that uh, the quantum mechanics gives the relation between initial and final wave functions. For example, uh, how wave function changes with time. And those of you who have not, who do not know quantum mechanics, uh, they can replace the word wave function with probabilities. That quantum mechanics relate initial and final probabilities if you give prob probabilities of some, some time and, and later probabilities. And it is here, I can give you many examples. You can see science, whatever it is, it, it's relation. It's not only because of this example I'm saying, I, I can argue uh, uh, that uh, it's, uh, it's a general, it is in the nature of very activity named, named science that it can give only relations. Now this is a full flight topic and I plan to give a full, a quarter of this course on this topic, uh, on this claim, I, I write the claim here. If you, underst if you understand claim, that's very good, even here. But otherwise, you can wait for the, the third quarter of this full course. That, that oh, this third quarter of this full course is to explain what I'm going to say now. But I try. You try. Maybe you explain even with with the next few sentences. Uh, that would be first effort. If they are not afraid, then bail for third quarter, full quarter of the course. Anyway, I make first effort. And the effort is that science, at least quantitative science, is composed of equations. An equation is a relation, and the crucial word is relation, between left hand side and right hand side. Okay, if they are equal, that's also relation. But in general, and the, and the relation is between and I said observation. Now, left hand side and right hand side of an equation may not itself be observation, but if it is a science, then they are directly or indirectly or through some other equations or through other research, whatever it is, that's what I mean by indirect. The left hand side is directly or indirectly related to some observation, and right hand side also to some observation because the, 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 the equation used in science. Left hand side and right hand side uh, relation is uh, simple equality, but uh, the, 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 the rela this implies the relation between what is hidden in left hand side observation and what is indirectly related to right hand side. That becomes the relation. And science is composed of relations only because science is left hand side and right hand side. Quantitative science. And qualitative science makes uh, not equation form, but uh, still. Uh, they, they say qualitative science is there, this thing is same as that thing, this thing is that. When you say is, that's also a relation. So science, be quantitative, be qualitative, that's a relation of observation. And I said, I have given a main argument of the whole course in previous uh, few minutes. If it, it got conveyed, that's very good. If not, just wait for the third quarter of the, it's a quarter, it's a full quarter to explain two sentences, two, uh, one sentence. If you did not understand my few sentences today, then wait. Anyway, what's, uh, let me see for next. Okay, next is that uh, science uh, is only relation of the observation, then if, if it is only one observation, 
and one report either what i've seen either report report means someone else has seen and and told me the news that i've seen or i myself have seen it's only not not two not relation it's only one where do you put it i don't put that is in science unless i i get another observation and i relate if only one then that's put is in history not science i don't mean history but the, you know generally you think that history is arts but you know here i mean it history means what was either seen by yourself or by seen by other and if you are a scientist and your history may include a science, that you or someone else saw that saw because this is saw is then is, is there observation in past and that's a history it's a personal history or scientific history if it is scientific it would be that that scientist uh, made that arrangement made that arrangement that's also history on that day or on that period and saw in that experiment that your your, your apparatus showed this all this is is the history scientific history or whatever history okay and uh, if it is uh, if it is and uh, what i mean is was that uh, either you have seen yourself or you know that uh, if, if your history is, is conveyed to you by by through other then you, what i mean to say that you know that if you they are verified that others have spoken truth to you or uh, uh, you know that it's a reliable source if history through reliable source that is not against science but that is not part of science so is there any name for such peculiar matter thing and yes there's a name and this time it's published you, you, you think that so far i my, my opinion it was not my opinion also uh, references there but to this thing I, i i show you reference and that is the this distinction this is the category of something which is not in science but not against science that is that is called non okay what is against science is is unscience according to stanford encyclopedia of philosophy which is the most reputed encyclopedia of philosophy of american stanford university and it's it's publicly available www.plato.org if if you want to writing i you ask me on facebook or youtube and i can write for you on that uh, website you write science and pseudo science or just pseudo science uh, the word you write pseudo means uh, not genuine science section 3.1 of the article says that uh, we written in slightly different word but the meaning remains there one sentence i have split into two sentence without disturbing the meaning and and this becomes that unscientific uh, implies some sort of contradiction or conflict with science. that is the exact word of there but to the second is, uh, is my conveying of that is that and made a separate sentence that non scientific does not mean any contradiction or conflict with science so there is nothing wrong with non scientific only thing is that is that is not science other than science so that's the non science history verified history is that and at that moment i, I introduce something else which means uh, mathematics or logic that is also not logic is not science and mathematics also the philosophy of science we have to discuss and i think most of philosophers of science would would even say mathematics because 2 plus 2 equal to 4 is not verified by experiment in that sense mathematics is also not not science so that means the uh, history logic kind uh, of they are not against science they are taught academic and uh, even scientists uh, not only study but they use as well and I, that's my next slide that they use or not but anyway they, they are not against science but they are not part of science and then that does mean they are uh, non science but be careful that not un science un against but they are not against okay no non science is only other than science or is related uh, to science as well that's a question and the answer is that yeah they are related and their relation is so much you can say that science does not result in non science but science may itself be 
you know topic of this course is that science itself may be explained by non science yes, for the moment i'm saying the science itself be result of non science namely history or observation and the next i say logic as well or the history observation logic these thing combine to you can say make science or at least justify science because if you don't know the relationship of science to history observation i mean if a history word is looks still not scientific to you you can say data so if you don't know the relation of science with the data or, or, or one stem operation or logic then you can't justify science you can't explain and you know as i told you the job of uh, philosophy i'm introducing in this course is that philosophy has to explain science and that is not possible in science because explanation of science requires you relating science to you know this time i'm using the word relation but previously i was saying the relation of observation 1 to observation 2 and now i'm talking and both are in both are in the same category and the science zero order and science is their first order explanation so that was that one thing topic and now the topic is finished and now is a new topic it's also a relation but relation of science with something outside science so that relation cannot be inside science that can that is that cannot be a result of physics or chemistry or biology at that relation is because to relation to something else the other than science though the relation itself is not part of science and relation means uh, explanation of science so explanation of science would be explanation of uh, science of explanation because second so that that cannot be first order science is first order you have explained appearing twice so that is uh, second order and the second order is cannot be part of second order explanation of observation cannot be part of first order explanation namely cannot be part of science so the negative result i can convey you the positive result that that is possible in philosophy that i for the moment i have uh, time only to give it a claim to justify that what is not possible in science is possible in philosophy i have full course to say that so for the moment i just write it okay so far i've been saying as it were philosophy of science you might get impression but these comment apply to philosophy in general not only philosophy of science and if it is a philosophy not philosophy of science then something is something changes philosophy of science is second order explanation of observation if it is a philosophy not philosophy of science a uh, general philosophy then that is uh, explanation of uh, i would say general human human experience experience includes even feelings and first order and history and what have people said and, uh, and what people liked or disliked or whatever it is and those who have friendship and not friendship and war and all this and that if you these are not part these are not observation they are not scientific observation at least so you have gone something uh, more general experience your ex first order explanation would also be more general that would not be a science that can Uh, take shape of many uh, subject i mean disciplines uh, namely first you can say social science uh, but uh, like economics or political science or uh, what is it sociology but not only that uh, there can be humanities or even religion or so they, they, these are all uh, first order and then relation of all these first order things and uh, an explanation of that and relationship that would be second order and that will be i'm talking about other subjects other discipline and that would not be philosophy of science that would be philosophy no that uh, version of philosophy which uh, i have introduced that may be new to you but i, I clarify that that is not my personal opinion it is whatever it is it's others have also said and others have published as well and they to publish in 
the first reference I, I show, I'm showing you golden age of philosophy of science that is about philosophy of science but the second in the book the failure of philosophy this time not a philosophy of science a philosophy it's published by Princeton University Press and in that if you see it's a PDF and if you search the word uh, I had to word the second order uh, there's a hyphen between them, so you, you have to put hyphen or, or just order, you see, then on page 5 tells you the word uh, second order, the word is used for philosophy, and then again and again, many times this word second order is used for philosophy. Second hyphen order, not separate. So that's all I had to say that, and now I summarize it, what I said, that sign, uh, summary is that I've introduced basically the the concept of order and science explain how the relation no, since, since science explain observation and, and the detailed form is that science relates observation the more detailed form is that science predicts correct relation between observation between observations that is the details have been given in that and the further details have been given for that, that philosophy explains science, so that's the explanation, the explained word appearing twice, so that means the second order, and that second order explanation of observation, so far I'm talking about philosophy of science. So that, the, that is the job of philosophy. Previously history, in history, philosophy has done um, first order job as well. Philosophy has explained observation, but that I think you know that's now a philosophy has also tell, told in history what is the how observations are related, what are the rules that govern observations or so. But I think now philosophy should leave that job and that philosophy should leave that task to to science. And in, in the age of science, what I'm saying, this and now philosophy should do what science does not, or maybe philosophy should not or philosophy science cannot these details we have to discuss in those but what is not job of science that can be job of philosophy that can be second order explanation and uh, and with that because the second order explanation relates science to observation and history so when philosophy does that philosophy will also comment on relationship between our science observation and history and uh, that is the job second order job of explanation uh, can be job of philosophy in this age and that's so far a philosophy of science and if it's the philosophy in general then, then they replace the word observation by experience and this time it will not be philosophy of science it will be philosophy okay that's all I will say and because those of you who, who have come to here because of interest in in art, something like arts kind of subject philosophy they might have not subscribed because to to a, this the, the my channel which is named clear thinking and now you should subscribe for this time for philosophy